Eight every day. Crazy. Yeah, been a lot of fun though. And it all culminates with this game. Gary McKnight, the head coach at Modern Day, the winningest high school basketball coach in the state of California. Nine state titles to his credit. And here's the way they will line up to start the game. They have a very deep bench, as John Crispin pointed out. In fact, about half the student body is on their team. Chris Neely, Elijah Brown, son of Mac Brown, of course, Jordan Strawberry, and you know that name very well as well. Also, MJ Cage, who is the son of Michael Cage and just a freshman. So, Gary McKnight has put so many people into the college ranks and uh, just a whole bunch more coming out beginning after this game. For Tim Kennedy and the Archbishop Midi Monarchs, they are clearly led by one guy, and he is Aaron Gordon, biggest player on the floor at 6'8". He can play all positions. Brandon Farrell, Davis Messer, Brandon Abagello, and Connor Peterson alongside him. And it's his supporting cast that will really tell a lot about the outcome of this game. Well, especially considering the depth of, of modern day. Okay, modern day can bring five guys off the bench that, that are really still let down. And that's what's going to really give modern day the advantage. But you got to shut down Aaron Gordon. The guy can get it done. He's going to be very aggressive. He attacks the glass, attacks the basket, shoots it well. Clearly a, a big-time prospect at the next level and beyond. Now Stanley Johnson is going to most likely play him head up in a collision right off the opening tip. <laughs> well, Stanley Johnson just <laughs> did a little freight train that he is. He did. He stayed up right there. Yep. He did. That the other guy did. didn't. No, that's right. Here's Gordon. And Gordon is just a man in the boy's body. Out front, three-point try by Connor Peterson comes up short, but a second chance as Davis Messer runs it down. Messer pulls up, but he can't get it either. Third try misses, and it's finally run down by Johnson. So modern day with its first possession of the game. Jordan Strawberry. Now Johnson. Cage gets a touch. Brown. And he can't get it to go, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds. No, it's not. Archbishop Mitty will control it. Gordon controls. Gordon will bring the ball up. Now gives it up back up top to Connor Peterson. Scoreless ball game just underway, one minute into this game. It's actually Neely that has taken the task on Gordon early in this game. Gordon, the floater, and it won't go, and it's knocked out of bounds by, well, it was knocked out of bounds by Johnson, but. Sure looked like it was, but they're gonna give the ball to modern day. Well, you mentioned Neely getting getting the nod, right? To, to take on Aaron Gordon, but really he's a physical defender. He's not afraid to mix it up. He's gonna play him very tough. And he's the kind of guy that you give him that challenge and he's gonna bring it. So Jordan Strawberry at the point. Strawberry penetrates, puts up a floater, and it won't go. Gordon rebound. Quick outlet to Peterson. Now Gordon, who thought about it, and he's going to get a hand check on Neely. Yeah, that's where Neely's got to be, be careful. I, I mean, we, we see a lot of the hand checking uh, throughout the course of the past two days. But if you put two hands on the man, and he's the best player on the floor, he's likely going to get the call. Aaron Gordon has not yet made his college selection. He said he will announce that at the McDonald's All-American game. That's on April 4th. Four schools in the running. Peterson up top. Now Abagello, this is Davis Messer. Abagello gets it back to Gordon up top. Gordon asking for a screen here from Brandon Farrell. Now Gordon just got to create. They clear out Gordon all the way to the basket, follows his own miss. Just get it on the rim and follow it up. Yeah. Great timing on the jump, the second jump to tip it back in. You know, sometimes the shooter close to the basket knows exactly where it's going because left your hand. This is Johnson. Johnson backs up and thought about taking that shot. Instead gives it up to Strawberry. Strawberry got a man in the air, ducks under him, puts up the floater too short. Tough shot. Yeah. You know, here we see Gordon really working it, pushing the drive. And when you shoot it, you know which whether it's short and where it's going to come off. And he went up and got it. On the other end, Strawberry just a little short. It's a tough shot to make. A lot of times you see guys step in and take that shot off the glass. Zabagello up top, now dropping down for Gordon. Gordon down low with the right hand. 
Just too big, too strong. Too good. You know, you're not going to be able to cover him one-on-one -on -one down low in the post. And if you are, you cannot allow him to get a catch. You've got a front high side here. You see him. He cuts to the post. Just uncontested turns. Finish. Too easy. And a rich hit foul in the defensive end called on Neely. Neely's second foul. From the corner, that's up and good by Davis Messer. So, so far, Gordon getting the help that we talked about. Yep, so far, so good. And, and that's what they're going to need. And that's what happens in big game situations when so much pressure is put on one player, other guys get open. And they got to step up and knock down shots. They're out by Brown. Good job by Avigello. It looked like he got all ball, but they're going to call the foul. Tough one, kind of a bail out there. Good take to the basket. Definitely got hit across the arm. What are you going to do? Yeah, he did. He argued the point. The official in no uncertain terms said, go back and play. Yeah. Because last time I checked, no official ever said, you're right. We got a good no, point. absolutely. I think I'll change that call. You, know, you make a good argument. I think we'll let's, let's switch that. <laughs> These are smart kids. You know, they go to good academic institutions. <laughs> Brown gets them both. Brown, as you said, the son of Mike Brown was coaching the Lakers, and Mike yep. said, you know, it's the best thing ever happened to me. I got a chance to watch that son play in his senior year. It doesn't help that the Lakers didn't really take off and start dominating. <laughs> no, he's, Mike Brown's looking pretty good. Yeah, he sure is. There's Gordon, a little post-up on his pal Johnson. Now give it up. A little bit of a lazy pass, and nearly stepped in front. Good pass, but good help by Neely. That's really what it is. Get, getting yourself into help side position. Going all the way is Strawberry, and it's knocked out of bounds. The ball goes to Mitty. Well, not bad being aggressive, attacking the basket early in transition. But at some point, you had to look at the scoreboard and go, guys, we've only scored two points in four minutes. Let's let's get something to go. Let's get ourselves into a little bit of a rhythm. And Settle Tis in. Tisdale comes in the ball game for the first time. Neely will take a seat. Gordon directing traffic. Now Connor Peterson comes up to meet the ball. This is all the jello. Now Gordon. Gordon working on Tisdale. Now the jello. Now back up top to Gordon. Five on the shot clock, so Gordon's got to do something here. Give it up to Avigello, open tray, and he can't convert it. Rebound to Johnson. Good defensive possession there for modern day, protecting the basket. Good defense on, on the star, and then finishing with a rebound. There's Tisdale, Tisdale drives, comes to a jump stop, banks it too hard. And the rebound comes down to Davis Messer, but outlet to Peterson. Now Messer for three. Rebound Cage. They want to push it. Here's Brown in the corner. That's Johnson for three. There it is. Good push, good transition. Find the open man, extra pass. Got it. It's good to get Stanley Johnson going, too. That's the first field goal, six to five ball game. This is Messer. Looks down low for Gordon. They go up over the top to Gordon and finishes. And if they're going to be able to do that. That could be a real problem for modern yeah, day. That is. And, and what that comes down to is ball pressure. If you're modern day, you have to get pressure on the ball so they cannot allow that pass over the top of the defense. That's just way too easy. Way too easy for Aaron Gordon and way too easy of a pass. There's Brown. Got a good look for three and knocked it down. It was a good look. Good execution. Used a little bit of clock. Got the defense to work. Came off of the screen, a lot of confidence, knocked down the shot. Tied at eight. Avigello, now Messer. There's Gordon, Gordon comes baseline, double team. Peterson up top, steps into the lane, kicks out for Avigello, cutting off the baseline. Good finish from Avigello, sure was, good ball movement. Yeah, it was. I mean, you started by feeding the post, he kicks it back out after he draws two, they swing, swing, Avigello finds his way to the basket. It was a good finish. Again, can't get this one to go, and Brandon Farrell picks up the loose ball. Now Gordon. Gordon puts it on the floor, is cut off nicely. I like the patience of Gordon. Now for three. 
a little hard off the back iron. Abagello runs it down, but it's knocked away from behind by Stanley Johnson. Here's Johnson again. He pulls the trigger for three. He's got it over. Wow. Confident looking jump shot. Pure stroke. Get the steal, run the floor, kick ahead, three ball. Stanley Johnson, only a junior, a highly rated junior, needless to say. Look at that body, goodness gracious. There's Gordon, good job to cut Gordon off the baseline, looking for help now, and does get it back into the hands of Davis Messer, now up top, Albagello versus Peterson. Peterson pulls up. Won't go. Farrell rebound. Blocked that time by Cage, and Cage controls it. Brown coming the other way now. Johnson back to Brown in the corner. Both these guys can really stroke it. That one will not go. And the rebound off the hands of Messer was almost too easy. And you look on the other end, you know, you get an offensive rebound, you don't have to go right back up with it. Settle it down. Right now, we got a good one. Some good shooting coming back. Monarchs up one. 